this video is about periodic trends. So the keywords in the question are oxide and the highest pH. And the concept of this question is properties of oxide. So let's take a look at elements in period three as an example. So on the left side, we have sodium and magnesium, and these are the metals. And when these metals become metal oxides, they produce a solution, a basic solution. So the pH would be greater than seven. But on the other side of the periodic table, we have the nonmetals, and these nonmetal oxide produce a acidic solution. So let's look at some example. So we have sodium as a metal, and if we were to add that with oxygen, we would add, have sodium oxide. And so when this sodium oxide is added into water, we would get sodium hydroxide. And this, as we can see, is a strong base. Now let's take a look at sulfur as our non-metal example. So when sulfur is added into oxygen, we get sulfur oxide, which can be, appear in the form of SO2 and SO3. And when either of the sulfur oxide is added into water, we get sulfuric acid in the form of H2SO3 or H2SO4. And both of these sulfuric acid is a strong acid. So we can see that elements on the left of the periodic table, the metals produce basic solution, and elements on the right, the non-metals produce an acidic solution. But um, about aluminum, it's right in the middle, and it's an amphoteric element, which has the property to produce either basic or acidic solution. And another general trend that we need to know is that the further left the element is, the stronger the basic solution will be. And the further right the element is placed is the stronger the acidic solution. So we can see a general trend of pH increases as we go towards the left of the periodic table. So going back to our question, we need to identify the metal that is located to the furthest left on the periodic table, and that would be potassium. So our answer is A.